Before updating your AOS, it's recommended to be in front of your fish tank. Let's sign in to Apex Fusion. Next, select your Apex from the list that you want to update. We are going to reboot the Apex, so select the Expand icon, and we'll go to the Miscellaneous page. Down here at the bottom, select Reboot, and then send that configuration to the Apex. Once that is successful, select OK. In the restart, you're going to see the orange status light turn off, then go to a green, purple, green, and then back to a solid orange. Next, select the dashboard. We're going to see if there's a new AOS available. Select the expand icon, and now we're going to go to the network icon. Now we see that there is an orange banner letting us know that there is a new AOS available. Also, you can see this is your current AOS and the AOS we're going to update to. Please be sure that you're in front of your fish tank before proceeding. Click on the orange banner. Next, click on the OK, and this will start the update. During the AOS update, you'll see that the status light will turn off. It will then go to a teal color, to then a lightish pink color, then it will go to a green, to a purple, to a green, and then to a solid orange. Now that the update is almost complete, it will take you back to the dashboard. Now we'll check to make sure the AOS went through. So select the expand icon. Then we'll navigate over to the network page. As you can see, there's no more orange banner, and it says the APEC is fully up to date, and your current AOS matches your newest AOS. Now let's go back to the dashboard and see if any modules need to be updated. Select the expand icon, and then the module icon. As you can see, we have an EB832 that shows five old. Click on the EB832 module, then click the action, and then update firmware. Now send this to the EB832 by selecting the save button. Next you'll get a menu showing you that the update is in process. During the update, you'll see that the EB832 lights turn off and the status light will go to a yellowish color. You'll also hear clicking noises of the relays. This is typical during the firmware update to the module of the EB832. Now that the update is successful, click OK. We're going to go back to the module page to make sure the update took effect. And as you can see, it went from 5 old to 7 OK. We can now go back to the dashboard and your AOS and your modules have now been updated. If you need to contact support, go to neptunesystems.com, then you're gonna to go to the support tab and click on it, and then you're gonna select contact support. Now scroll to the bottom of the page and fill out the form and select submit. Thank you very much, have a great day.